What's good, YouTube? It's Imari. We back with another fucking video. You know what I'm saying? We reacting to Child of Doctors Who Show No Remorse. No Remorse in Court. Um, As y'all can see, I just got a tat. You know what I'm saying? For my homie that passed away. You know what I'm saying? Right, my boy. We think in this video. This is the second video that I'm posting. And then I'll probably post more videos during the week. But yeah, I hope y'all do enjoy this one. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe if y'all really uh, enjoying these uh, reactions. Open the door! Break it. Hands! Let me see your hands! Step out here! Step out! Get on the ground! Before I did this, I planned on taking multiple girls, killing multiple families. I wanted to treat them differently, play mind games with them. What the fuck is you looking at, my nigga? This is video. Trevor Summers. Trevor Summers was a Tampa, Florida resident convicted for kidnapping, attempted murder, and rape. Police said that Summers broke into his ex-wife Alyssa Mathewson's home and attacked her with a knife, attempting to rape and kill her. What? He then kidnapped and drove her to a remote location where he continued to assault her. Before this, Summers had already been given a restraining order and warned to stay away from Alyssa. That didn't deter him. During the trial, his 14-year-old daughter and wife were cross-examined. He looked me right in the eye, and it was terrifying. After the length... Dude, the fact that she has to go through this since she's only 14, bro. <sighs> Trauma, man. The trial, the jury found Summers guilty on all charges. Uh, they didn't tie her up uh, to keep her uh, from contacting someone. Here's one thing you need to do before the video just started not getting at buying anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until authorities give me enough time to get out of town. And sentenced him to life in prison. The judge called his actions Good. heinous and unforgivable Good. and noted that he showed no remorse for what he had done. Summer's ex-wife addressed the court with a powerful statement. Intimidating. I have a lifetime protective order against him, and he's going to be right in front of me questioning me about the crimes that he committed against me. She spoke of the trauma and fear she had experienced at the hands of Summers and expressed relief that he would never be able to hurt her again. Summers himself did not speak during the hearing, but his attorney later released a statement saying that he planned to appeal the sentence. He appeared unmoved by the sentence. Just when you feel this is the worst you can get from an emotionless kidnapper, the worst happens. Oh. This time, it is not just kidnapping, oh, but the heinous God. crime of Jake Patterson that would leave you squirming and wondering why a 23-year-old would kidnap a 13-year-old and shoot both of her parents. In the po why do people do these things, bro? Public can only be safe if you are incarcerated until you die. This hey guys, I want to ask you before we get into this guy's you know stuff, why do you guys think these people are doing these like things? Like, do you guys think it's like trauma from the past or something in their like lifetime? I don't like I wonder why these people do that. Like, I want to let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is Jake Patterson who committed a heinous crime that made headlines. Jake Patterson is a 23-year-old man who lives in Wisconsin. He just looks crazy, bro. On October 15th, 2018, he committed a crime that shook this. Yeah, something's wrong with him. You can just tell like he's not showing any remorse at all. He just seems like he just wanted to do it. He doesn't look sad or anything. He just looks like he just doesn't care. State of Wisconsin and the United States at large. He broke into the home of James and Denise Kloss and fatally shot both of them before abducting their 13-year-old daughter, Jamie Kloss, and holding her captive for 88 days in a remote cabin in Gordon, Wisconsin. Fortunately, the little girl was able to escape on January 10th, 2019. During the trial, the prosecutor revealed the horrific details of what little Jamie went through during her wow. captivity. Patterson confined her to a small space under his bed for hours and physically what? and emotionally abused her. He also forced her to stay under the bed when he had visitors. Jamie finally escaped when Patterson left the cabin, and she managed to get help from a neighbor. And we were almost home, 
and she was walking towards me, crying, saying, you got to help me, you got to help me. Okay. So I didn't want to go into my cabin because it's too close to Patterson's house. And she said her, her name is Jamie Claus? Yep. Jake Patterson pleaded guilty to two counts of first-degree intentional homicide and one count of kidnapping. Do, like, absolutely anything to take back what I did, you know. <laughs> I, I would die. He's laughing. I think they said she's 14 at this time. 14. And he killed both of her parents, bro. And did some bad stuff to her, bro. She's only 14, dude. She has to live her life knowing that she has no parents in her life, bro. No parents. Zero parents, bro. And she's traumatized from what all the stuff you did, bro. She's not going to want to go out anymore. Or, you know, she's going to feel uncomfortable everywhere she goes, bro. I would do absolutely anything to, to bring them back. You know? On May 24th. Fuck off, man. You don't care, bro. 4th, 2019. The judge sentenced Patterson to two consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole for the murder of James and Denise Kloss. He was also given an additional 40 years for the kidnapping of Jamie Kloss. He needs a death sentence. When the sentence was read, Patterson showed no emotion. In a statement, Patterson apologized for his actions and said he would do anything to take back what he did. And because of this monster, Jamie won't have her mom and dad at her dance recitals. Although he did reply to a letter by a journalist asking for his motives, Patterson apologized for the crime and reveals that it was based on impulse. His grandfather stated that Patterson was shy and quiet and loved computer games more than social interaction. He admitted that something had gone wrong with Patterson. The grandfather was right. Something did go wrong with Patterson. For someone without any criminal history, murdering two people and abducting their kid is not normal, rational behavior. Not only were you a danger to the Kloss family, you are an extreme danger to the public in general. His lack of Hell emotion yeah. during the trial and failure to explain why he committed these crimes left many unsatisfied with his apology. While you were still capturing the tension and the uncertainty that comes with Patterson's apology, this next- Just because that was his first kill, like killings, whatever, doesn't, like what? He's still crazy. This kidnapper was proven guilty, but has never even thought to provide the victims an apology. This is Stuart Campbell. Campbell was the uncle of 15-year-old Danielle Jones, but if his actions were the way uncles behaved, no one would wish to have an uncle. Campbell was not just the uncle of Danielle, he was also her guardian. Danielle went missing in East Tilbury, Essex in 2001. Although her body wasn't found after months of searching, wow. police found her DNA on a pair of blood-stained white stockings and a lip gloss. Further investigations revealed that Stewart, who had prior convictions for indecent assault on teenage girls, was responsible for her disappearance. During the trial, the prosecutor revealed that Campbell had been sexually attracted to his niece and had an unhealthy obsession with her. I'm worried about your relationship with Danielle. I actually switched from Chrome to Opera GX a while ago just because I was so tired of Chrome being the absurd resource hog that it is and performing terribly. It's fully customizable so you can make it look as nice as you want it to and really just make it... These ads, bro. Tell me what it was about, Stuart. Why you wanted to be with her. No problem. Why you he had been grooming her for months before she went missing. The police... That is just sick. That's disgusting. Absurd. Like... What the f- It's also found disturbing evidence on his computer, including indecent images of children and pictures of Danielle. Campbell was arrested on suspicion of murder and charged with Danielle's murder and abduction. During the trial, the evidence against him was overwhelming, and he was found guilty on both counts. On August 23, 2002, Campbell was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum of 20 years for the murder of Danielle Jones. When the sentence was read, he showed no emotion. Neil's murder has affected hundreds of us here at Essex Police. Many of you who have come to know the family through this case still feel their pain as they continue to live without having been able to say a final goodbye to their lovely daughter. Campbell refused to reveal the location of Jones's body either. Campbell maintained his innocence and claimed he had been framed for the crime. However, his defense was undermined by the strong evidence against him. 
The case also led to changes in the law, many of which we should be grateful for. Mm. Claiming innocence after committing such That's heinous crimes can create weird situations. But thanks to evidence, the truth prevails at last. This, however, was not the case for Michael Webb. His took a different approach. And there was no room for innocence. Door! Open the door! Break it. Hands! Let me see your hands! Step out here! Step out! Get on the ground! This is Michael Webb. Michael's a 51-year-old man oh from Texas gosh. who kidnapped an 8-year-old girl from her mother's arms. I thought just got kidnapped! While they were walking to school in May 2019, the abduction was captured on a surveillance camera, and the footage showed Webb forcing the child into his car before driving away. What Following the, the abduction, the police launched a massive search operation. And after eight hours, the child was found safe in a hotel room in Fort Worth, Texas. Got her. We got her. We got her. The police had tracked down the vehicle used in the abduction. And after a brief standoff with Michael, they were able to rescue the child. Hands! Let me see your hands! Step out here! Step out! Get on the ground! The suspect is placed in handcuffs. Michael Webb was arrested. <sighs> this is just... This fucking fucker, bro. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Dude, he was naked with a fucking eight-year-old, dude. This is just sad. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm so sorry for that family, dude. I'm glad she's okay, though. Rusted and charged with kidnapping. And, and I know I missed somebody because... When I pushed the woman and grabbed her, I heard somebody scream. He admitted to the crime during a three-hour interview with the FBI. Fuck during you, the bro. trial, evidence showed that he had sexually assaulted the child while she was in captivity. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Me hearing this is just, like, tough. Like, what if that's your daughter, dude? he was found guilty on all charges. In October 2019, Michael Webb was given a life sentence without... He needs death sentence, bro. Skip this life stuff. They don't. He does not deserve life. ...of the possibility of parole. The presiding judge, Reed O'Connor, stated that Michael Webb had committed a heinous, cruel, and despicable crime, and that his actions were beyond comprehension. The sentence was met with widespread approval from the public who saw it as a fitting punishment for such a heinous crime. The child's mother, who had been traumatized by the incident, spoke out about her relief that the man who had caused her family so much pain is now behind bars for life. When Michael heard his sentence, he showed no remorse, although he cried during the interrogation. Did you say to Michael? I told him that he said anything that I would do something to her parents. In fact, it just gets worse every time this dude speaks to. Michael did not go to court in the real sense. The trial went on anyway. In a statement to the court before the trial, he said, You will be mistaken if you think this story has come to an end. Another disgusting but shocking case was from 19-year-old Anthony Rodriguez. This is Anthony Rodriguez. The 19-year-old Anthony Matthew Rodriguez's recent conviction left the small town of Great Falls, Montana, reeling. Rodriguez was found guilty of some of the most heinous crimes imaginable. Forcible rape, kidnapping to commit rape, and second-degree robbery. The community breathed a sigh of relief, knowing he would be locked up for a long time. During the trial, the jury heard the harrowing details of Rodriguez's crimes. He had kidnapped the victim with the intention of committing rape, and his actions had put her in danger. I think that it was a, a crime of opportunity. I, I truly um, think that she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The evidence was overwhelming, and the jury had no choice but to convict him. But the legal battle was far from over. Rodriguez argued that the trial court had made errors and that his punishment was excessive. However, the court stood firm, and the original judgment was upheld. This case highlighted the bravery of the victim who had to relive her trauma in court. One of the really more poignant moments during the trial was that she signed no. She was signing no to him uh, when he was sexually assaulting her. Despite the difficulties, 
she stood up for herself and sought justice. Her courage, as well as the dedication of law enforcement and the justice system, helped ensure that Rodriguez was held responsible for his terror. Dude, it's just so sad that, like, these people have to go through this, bro. Like, they have to go through this traumatizing moment. And they just replays in their head, bro. It's just so sad, dude. Prayers to them for real. Terrible crimes. If you thought these were shocking reactions of kid, but yeah, man, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Um, if y'all want some more videos, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. It will help me a lot. And make sure y'all like this video, comment what y'all think about everything about this video. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys again. Let's get to the three subscribers. Well, y'all.